um, when we decided to push through with the pageant, um, our main um, priority was the safety of the girls and the team that will be handling the, the show. So when we were thinking about um, the area where we're going to hold the pageant, um, the Baguio, Baguio City came to mind because um, Kumbaga, maganda yung protocols nila, health protocols nila, and maaga nila na-stop yung spread ng virus here. And of course, with the help of the city mayor, we were able to really um, um, make sure na we were following all the protocols, health protocols. So, um, prior to arriving to Baguio City, uh, we were mandated to test everybody, not just the candidates, but the chaperones, the, the production team, and then the Miss Universe Org um, team as well. So lahat kami, um, we were tested um, in Manila to make sure that um, we are all negative first. We get a negative result. Then after that, that's when we get to uh, get our travel pass to enter Baguio City. And then when they arrive in Baguio City, we have to test them again. So, tuloy tuloy yung testing. So every five days, we also um, require everybody to undergo swab testing to ensure nga na talagang um, there's no spread in the, in, during the whole journey of the girls in the pageant. The Filipino fans, finally, um, Miss Universe Philippines will be aired uh, this coming October 25 on GMA. Uh, it's going to be 9 a.m. and this, there's going to be a replay uh, at, at 9 p.m. on the same day or 10 p.m. on the same day. So I, I invite everyone to um, watch the coronation night of the first ever Miss Universe Philippines and of course um, if you want to see the journey of the girls from the preliminary competition to their um, interviews, um, you can also subscribe to the Ring Light series on Empire Plus.